Good morning, City Prez. It's uh, time again for our Confession of Sin. And uh, recently at the Color of Compromise book discussion, the, um, the topic of discussion turned to hypocrisy. And, um, and when you recognize that you know, in yourself, you know, how, do you, how do you move forward? Uh, you know, how do you then, you know, begin to discuss uh, problems in the world, you know, when, when you're not perfect. And I think it's important, you know, for us in a, in a confession of sin to say that, you know, part of the reason that we can see problems in the world is because we can see problems in ourselves. And it's, you know, it's not hypocrisy to say, I see this problem because I've had it and I continue to have it. Um, it's hypocrisy to say, well, I don't have this problem, um, but I see it in you. Uh, that's, not, that's not what we're doing here. Um, what, what we're doing is we're joining hands and we're saying, yes, we all have these problems and, and we want to change and we want to be transformed. And so let's acknowledge that we all have these problems together this morning. Holy Father, you have called blessed the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, yet there we walk. Help us to walk in step with your will. You have called blessed the one who does not stand on the path of sinners, yet there we stand. Help us to stand on the promises of your word. You have called blessed the one who does not sit in the company of mockers, yet there we sit. Help us to find our joy sitting in the company of saints at your feet. Teach us to delight in your law and to meditate on it so that we may stand like a tree planted by the water, yielding fruit and prospering in your will. Let's take some time for silent confession this morning. Friends, our hope is that we don't have to justify ourselves, but rather that we are justified by Jesus' finished work on our behalf. Hear now the assurance of pardon. Then I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will set shepherds over them who will care for them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall any be missing, declares the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely, and this is the name by which he will be called, the Lord is our righteousness.